Hey there. How you doing? You doing good? I'm I'm doing okay ish. Emphasis on the ish. I'm back at school. I was on holiday from December um until the third of March or the fourth of March. So yeah, it's, I've been on holiday for three months and now I'm back at school and it feels really weird. Like I don't. It feels wrong. It's like what am I doing at school? It's like I should be at home in bed watching YouTube videos or on Tumblr or something like that and I'm at school and it's weird. It's like, it's weird. It's so weird. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that's how I'm doing. I guess that was kind of like an update. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be doing my March book haul today. It's kind of special and it's also kind of sad because I got my reading list for my classes. There are some really good books on my reading list because I'm doing an English major so I have some like novels or lots of novels actually. But there's still lots of textbooks, lots of, lots of books that I have to read. And so I'm definitely not going to be reading as much as I would like to when it comes to the books that I want to read or that I choose to read for myself. So this book haul is kind of like, I don't know, these are these are all books that I won't be able to read. I don't know, maybe I will be because I just started and normally we start pretty slow. I'm just talking about this for a long time. I should start with this book haul. So this book haul is special because I decided to um, show you me unboxing all of the books that I got. So when I got the book in the mail, because I get them all at different times, I opened it in front of the camera, and so you're going to get to see that for each book that I show you, and yeah, um, let's begin! <laughs> As you can probably tell, I was pretty excited to get this book. This is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. It's the second book in the Luna Chronicles series, the first book being Cinder. And Cinder is about a cyborg, Cinderella. It's a fairy tale retelling, and it's set in kind of a um, dystopian, kind of sci fi ish world. It's really, really cool. I really loved it. Did a review of that if you want to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description box. And I also already have read this because I just, I read immediately, immediately, I read this. It was awesome. I did a book review and a book talk about it as well already, um, which will also be in the description box below. But yeah, I really, really like this book so much. And I'm having kind of an internal dilemma with myself about these these books because I really like hardcover better than paperback. This is paperback. And I already had the, the Cinder one in paperback because I just picked it up on a whim for the book club, for the YT book club. I didn't know what it was about. I just was like, they're doing this book. I'm going to buy it. I didn't even go to that book club. But... I bought the book, um, which seems to be kind of a theme for me, but yeah, I just, I bought it and it turned out that I loved it, and normally when I love a series, I want to get it in hardback, um, and I already had Cinder in paperback, so I was like, I'll get Scarlet in paperback, and I did, and now I'm just, now I'm fighting with myself to stop myself from getting Cinder and Scarlet in hardback, because that's crazy, that's crazy, but I just keep on thinking I should do it now before I have to do it for Chris, and then get Chris and hardback and have it all on paperback. Oh, just all the book buying. Oh, it's so bad. It's so, so bad. <music> this is The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. This is the first Maureen Johnson book that I have ever gotten or bought, and it's the first book in the Shades of London series. This book was also, um, this book was the book for YT Book Club this month, I think which I missed. See, there's a thread of the theme with me. I just, I always buy the books and then I don't go to the book club because I didn't read it. Um, but yeah, I really need to like read it and then go to the book club and just not buy it. But I bought it and it sounds interesting. Um, it's about a teenager who goes to London to boarding school to start a new life and then these brutal murders start happening in the, in the city and they are, um, they're mimicking Jack the Ripper, and I really want to read some Ripper stories, and I guess this is a good start, I suppose. I have that, so it's a good start. This is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hotkin, and this is about, I'll read you the, the little inside flap thing, because it's really quick. It says, Mara Dyer doesn't think life can get any stranger than waking up in a hospital with no memory of how she got there. It can. She believes there must be more to the accident she can't remember that killed her friends and left her mysteriously unharmed. There is. She doesn't believe that after everything she's been through, she can't, she can fall in love. She's wrong. Um, yeah, so, 
I really thought this book looked interesting. It was on sale, and when books are on sale, just my willpower, it's gone. It's just, it's all gone. I did a reuse choice, like, two months ago, I think, and I still haven't gone to the book yet. Um, but I did buy it. It's on its way. Don't worry. I don't think you are worrying, but yeah, just in case. Um, and I said in the video that you can recommend to me other books if you want to, and someone recommended this book, and I got it. Here it is. I'm really excited to read it because I've heard really good things about it, and yeah. Um, this cover is just, it's one of those ones, I, when I got it, I just, I was staring at it for way too long. It's one of those ones where you just, you're just kind of just, you're looking at it, and then you're just like, no, Dylan, stop it. Stop it. Stop looking. Because it's not appropriate for you to, no. Is it appropriate? You can look at your own books if you want to, but I'm going to put it down now. <laughs> The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Brie Tanner? Um, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer and it's an Eclipse novella. Um, I've read this book already. I read it for free online when it was online for free. I think it might still be online for free. Um, and I really like it. It's hardback and it was like five or six dollars. I think I think it's still on sale on the book depository and I didn't have it and I was like it's six dollars. It's hardback. I'm gonna get it. And so here it is. I got this month was Across the Universe by Beth Rebus or Rebus or Re Rebus. I don't know how else you could say it. Um, yeah, I got this as well because someone on the Viewer's Choice thing video recommended it to me and I think it was on sale or no, it wasn't on sale. I just got it. I don't, yeah, no excuses. No sales, no excuses. I just got it. This cover again is just one of those covers that I was staring at. I was like, just, just looking. I was just looking at it. Uh, I just, uh, <laughs> and also the, um, you've probably seen this before, but the inside flap, or the inside flap, the flap c dust cover, the dust cover on the inside looks really, really cool. Like, it's, I really like maps in books, but this is like a step further, this is like a, a map of the ship, seeing as this is something that happens in space. Which is pretty cool. So that was my March book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want me to continue doing this thing where I show you me unpacking or unboxing the books that I get, then tell me in the comment section below and I will do it. So yes, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this. And tell me if you've read any of the books that I mentioned and if you liked them or didn't like them. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Look what just came in the mail. Woo. Oh my gosh, I have this book. Really, really, it's set in kind of dystopian post pop 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 pop. The covers, you know, it's yeah.